What is up guys, I here and this is part 2 of how to make a commentary on Mac and we have our lovely, lovely gameplay here, I'm just going to put it right on down his head and there we have our commentary here, right on Miles' his head and I'm going to be showing you how to edit this and the software we're going to be using is Adobe Premiere Pro the reason being it is the most like Vegas and me having a Windows so long and basically that's the computer I had when I started doing YouTube commentaries which is a while ago not on this channel but a while ago um, I used Vegas a lot and got very comfortable to it so this is pretty similar to Vegas now just go new project okay test we'll just name it test you name it whatever you want go you don't want to edit any of them settings they're fine okay uh, yep I'm gonna rename override that that is fine now this is the preset menu okay for the sake of sakes we are going to make a new preset just you can get it perfect then you go down to the editing mode and make sure it's on HD TV 1080p you can have I but it's not worth it to be honest and it makes the files humongous okay absolutely massive okay and 1080p just looks just good make sure it's on 29.97 frames per second because quite frankly that's what you need to make sure it's smooth down here just f uh, make the video preview 1280 by 960 and save the preset as test or well, whatever you want name, name it YouTube if you want now I've already got a preset here because I've done one earlier to make sure it worked sequence okay let's call this amazing video one or oh, not one amazing video hell yeah I'm in Miami bitch just want to add that in there why not okay now don't be scared by this software guys, it is not daunting nor is it hard to use. There goes, there's my trial I'm using at the moment. So, basically here is where your clips and tracks will be all lined up and this is where like you can do your basic editing. Um, here is the preview where you'll see the clip and here is where you can do the more advanced editing and here, these two boxes are where you get the clips from. So you go Macintosh HD, down to your user. Mine being Alex, of course. God was not an option, so I had to choose Alex instead. Uh, just go desktop. That's where I put the recording. And just I'm just going to put it up here for the moment, moment, time being. And you import it. Brilliant. And just drag the live recording in, okay? To video one and audio one. Now, the commentary was only a few seconds long, so I'm going to get a commentary I've done before. So I'm just going to go to my folder that I use. Um, what TV? And I'm just, I, I, you know what, guys? I'm gonna do my '90s com because that's one of my favourite coms, and I've done that wrong, haven't I? Well, it's being very handy and not giving me the audio, which is just, it's just brilliant to be honest. When it does stuff like this, why is it doing this to me? <sighs> that's why. All files. I accidentally scrolled off it, which is just brilliant. Okay. Drag my MP5 in. Brilliant. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of empty clips here. So if you right click, okay, and go delete tracks, delete all empty tracks, you can do like video one, video two individually, but for time's sake, delete all empty tracks, okay? This is smushed it up nice and close together. They can now get acquainted. Now, first things first, we want to make sure that this is all okay, which is, looks really nice. Uh, but there's a tiny little black line there to fix that you just double click on the image and just drag it out ever so slightly and now no black line and it's full as full can be now our second problem is the like the clip goes on for like nine minutes the clip doesn't so we need to trim it trim it you go to the razor tool here which is C the shortcut and you just clip it there you go selection tool V shortcut and backspace to delete now that is pretty darn good now I want to put a little bit of opacity on this okay guys now you don't have not of opacity it's just a bit of a fade it just makes it look a bit more professional and it just sort of eases the person in. a lot of people don't use them to be honest but I, I do so to do opacity you just click the clip go up to opacity do the drop down box and make sure it's zero 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 and have it at zero opacity press enter now just you go this along say go to 
three seconds, yeah? And make sure the opacity is 100. Very, that's a very quick fade, to be honest, that's just for time's sake. And if I just click, that's at 0 0.13 seconds. I'm very clever, aren't I? I'm very, very clever indeed. Okay, let's just, okay. Because I am actually just a genius. I do actually wonder about myself sometimes. Of like how smart someone can get. Okay, four seconds. Make sure the patty's okay. That's when I want it to go to. Right, I've got I've got to redo this, guys, because I've just been so smart. I, I was actually trying to be a smart ass, to be honest. Because zero, opacity zero. Edit that to four seconds. Opacity to ninety nine, and we'll go to four seconds point one. And opacity. You don't. You shouldn't have to do it this way, guys. Just because I mucked it up earlier. And now we should have a nice fade if we play from the beginning. Yep, a nice fade into clip, which is actually very fast. But that's because purely because I mucked it up earlier, guys. But if you just go from the clip, we'll redo it again a bit later. Actually, we'll redo it now from here. We'll have a nice fade from this section. Hundred. Okay, make sure we'll just have it ninety nine. A bit hundred there. So that's a little keyframe, and then the end of the clip. We'll have it as zero. Lovely, and that should fade off. Yep, fades off nicely. Nothing too sharp. You can do it for the audio, but there is really no point as long as you give yourself a second between each one. Um, yeah, that was just me being stupid at the start, guys, trying to be clever. So just ignore that. Now. To make it just look like a little bit more professional, we want to add a watermark. Do that, go control, add track, we just want one video track, no audio tracks, because, you know, we're not adding no audio watermark, so just go to wherever your watermark is saved, mine would be in my graphics folder, and this one was actually made by Robot, which is an absolute legend for doing it, drag it in there, drag it here, now, if you see here guys, there's like, two black arrows and a red line okay so just hold it down drag it along and that will drag the clip out to wherever you need it to be now as you can see the <laughs> it's obviously not where you want it to be so to move it like we said earlier double click and it opens up this option and to resize just grab one of the corners pull it pull 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 and there you go a nice little watermark. That's looking pretty good, guys. To be honest, it's looking pretty good. And to set that would be it. Your comments will be here. Your audio will be there. Your watermark will be there. You'll have your fades. You can also do fades for the um, watermark. Just go. I select the watermark opacity zero, and then about three seconds. We'll have it come to a hundred. Just nice. There we go. It's got a nice gentle fade, unlike the one I done earlier, because that's just so clever of me. Now that our commentary is ready for rendering or exporting, as they call it in Mac, you want to go up to File, Export, Export Media. Okay. Pretty simple. It just loads, because to be honest, it always loads. Now here we have our export stream. This is our source video and this is what your output will be. Okay. Now over here, if you use the preset, um there is actually one YouTube widescreen HD. If you use this, it will make your life a hell of a lot easier. You won't have to fit around with pixels and it will it will just come out and you upload it and it'd be perfect to YouTube, okay? So it really does make rendering well a lot easier. And see three and a half minute file will do 190 MB which isn't much to be honest you can use frame blending but I'd, I rarely use that to be honest so just to make sure it's YouTube H screen HD and yeah that is it you can name it whatever you want we've already named it um, we and then you can edit the save place if you just click on that there you can edit the name we've already named it and we'll just save it to the desktop guys and yep, yeah, it's going to save an MP4. You just click save and then export down here to export it and it will start the export. Now, luckily, I've got a quad core i7 Mac, 
back so exporting isn't really a problem for me it'll take about four minutes to do that so it takes about 10 minutes for a commentary and yeah that is about it guys um it's a bit long because i'm running my software to record the screen but next time guys i i'm going to show you how to upload and get the best upload settings i was going to do my render settings ne next episode but i thought worth trying it out i might as well just show you all the editing in this episode and that is all from me guys um hope you enjoyed it all that good stuff and i'll see you next